Columbus Operating System is a web-based dynamic platform that is used to aggregate and publish data from multiple sources spanning both public and private sector. The role of data is absolutely critical to helping cities become smarter. It can be used to help hungry people find food sources, as an example. It's one of the use cases that we're actually featuring in the hackathon. So we won't have a smart city if we don't have good data and utilizing that data for kind of implementation of programs. And so data continues to be a central component for what's going to make Columbus a wonderful smart city. The reason that you want to build a big data system is so you can gain insights, so that you can improve people's lives. You can imagine what it'll do for health, what it'll do for food, what it'll do for the elderly. The vision of the smart city operating system is to inform the city on a day in, day out, real time basis so that we can improve our signal light timing, we can improve priority to emergency vehicles, take the ideas of our entire community, the best and brightest of Central Ohio, and turn it into something that when we give it to other cities, it has an impact on the entire world. So Columbus is approaching our smart city efforts in complete collaboration. It's so important because a lot of where the future is going is unknown and we need everybody's great ideas and great expertise and try and get to a successful place all together. So since we just launched it, it was really important to us that we got it in front of a large number of people so we can quickly get feedback and iterate and improve the tool. I've been involved with startup weekends and other weekend long events where people come in and work on something for a week and we thought it would be really great to apply that format to this problem, which is getting this in front of people, getting really technical people, but also people who can go out and talk to the community to use the platform and to give us feedback so we can iterate quickly and continue to lead in this category. One of the things that I really love about the Smart Columbus program is how the public and private sector have come together to really make an impact on the community. A lot of the people that have talked about the use cases today, they're ambassadors from those groups. This is a group of people that are volunteering their time. We have 125 members and representing over 48 different organizations. They meet on a regular basis, all very passionate about solving problems for our community. A smart city is by definition a city-wide initiative. For this to really grow, we need the community to pick up this flag and say we care about leveraging data and understanding what's going on with our city to make our city better and to help each other. The thing about the hackathon that's got me so excited and about Smart Columbus is that for now we get to give life to this data, let brilliant designers, engineers, architects take a look at it and see things in it that we in the nonprofit space might not see. In our work, we don't often get to have these kind of resources available to us, uh, especially for a food bank or especially food pantries that are located in church basements and community centers all across our community. So we're very invested, making sure we're engaging the right folks and really putting in place the pieces that are going to be helpful. We want you to use this data and come up with creative ideas. That's what's going to help us move forward. We know we have been uh, data rich but information poor and so this is really going to help make a difference uh, for all neighborhoods, for all communities, not only in the city of Columbus, maybe across the state, maybe across the country and world. We want this to be co-created with our community. We want entrepreneurs, data experts, people that have technical expertise as well as great connections. We all want to get to a better future. We think we can get there better and more successfully when we do it together. Here hanging out with the teams at the Smart Columbus Hackathon. Really impressed with the ideas that the teams are working on. They're all really diverse. We have this really collaborative brainstorming session that turned into dozens and dozens of potential use cases and problems we want to solve for the region. We had a team of 40 plus volunteers from public sector, the private sector, universities. We distilled it down to three use cases that we thought we could be most impactful with and that we thought the operating system would be a perfect way to dig into these cases and try to solve some of the more tractable problems we've seen in Central Ohio. We 
have some really interesting data sets. So the hope is that we'll come up with some ideas that we can build on. You know, we're just really looking forward to seeing what comes out of the hackathon and start to address issues around food access and around helping older adults get around and helping us understand safety issues on our roads. Already I've seen people pulling out the data set and seeing how they can slice and dice some of this data to have a true impact on the community. And I think a lot of that wouldn't have been possible without how the Smart Columbus operating system has been designed. The ability to map it very, very quickly, the ability to kind of cross-reference it quickly with over a thousand data sets there, that was really powerful. We're looking at this as something that could be the heartbeat of the city, being able to get around in traffic, helping getting meals to people, and helping to optimize other aspects of our daily lives. So I had two options, either sit at home and, and keep reading the documents that they have shared with me to be a facilitator actually in helping Smart City Initiative, or come to a hackathon and actually play around with data. Guess what, which one I choose? Most of us don't know each other. Getting strangers together to work on something as a team, just purely ad hoc, is really, really interesting and a lot of fun to see. A lot of energy that has thankfully been allowed to kind of come together. This is my first hackathon, so I'm super excited to like bring my talent to the team in, in any way possible. This is amazing. I mean, I've never done anything like this before. There's a lot of talent here, and there's a lot of people who are willing to work and willing to really solve something that needs to be done for the community using data that is widely available to us. So it's really cool to be a part of something like that. Just by showing how many first-time attendees we have to an event like this, and for this to be their first one, I think really speaks to the power of the cause that they're interested in and the passion they have for improving our city. The conversations that I'm hearing are really exciting. Just seeing this many people and this much energy in one room around these issues and just makes me optimistic about where we're headed with Smart Columbus and with the operating system. Feeling pretty good. Our presentation's in a good spot. Right now we're just trying to merge everything together. We have the couple of guys who did most of the visualization work. They're gonna be running through demos of what they've done and how that aligns to the problem that we're trying to solve. Our dry run went really well. People in the audience were excited about it, so that's pretty cool. You always worry about a demo on the day. Is something gonna go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I've got the story right, I've got my pitch so that it's about the right amount of time, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. We're just kind of finishing our presentations as well. The biggest thing that we're trying to focus on is really getting the message across. It's kind of down to the line. After this, it's go time. So a little nervous, a little tense, but also like really excited. I am shocked, really, at the amount of progress that was made over the last 24 hours. We had a couple of applications that I think can make immediate impact, and that's pretty darn cool when you consider 54 hours of work. I think the work that was produced over the weekend exceeded our expectations. It really gave us a ton of valuable insight into how do we produce an operating system that really can facilitate innovation and good solutions. I think until you actually throw the operating system out in the wild, you have no idea how people are going to use it. So this hackathon is really the first test of how will people use this. The feedback after this will be really important as we talk to the different teams as to what we can do better, what functionalities people would add to make this operating system even more useful going forward. We talked about bringing a lot of full spirit into the initiative. I could really sense that today. There's a lot of passion and I'm really excited about continuing this and tapping into this amazing talent that's here. Thank you.
The groups, the people, it's outstanding. We've made a family here, and that family is going to continue to give value to Columbus and be able to make Columbus a great city using our technology. It was exciting. I mean, I didn't get a chance to come last year, and so this was the first time I got to go to a hackathon. I, I met a lot of cool people. I definitely made some new friends, right? I would encourage everybody to do it. And then, you know, got to really, you know, meet with some other people, understand the data, understand kind of what Smart Columbus is doing. This weekend was really short, so we couldn't interact with everything. I think after this weekend, I'm kind of excited to see what all data we have in the Smart City OS right now, what data they're working to get in there, and really interact with some of our data sets. I think one of the big things that I learned, though, is that how quickly we can get to some of the solutions with the power of data. Sometimes you think that maybe a solution will take years and years to develop, but I think this weekend proved we can get to action a lot quicker. I actually learned that the, uh, a lot of collaboration is now possible in these data sets. Like a year ago, the data sets were all siloed. We knew they could connect together, and we knew that technology could do this, but it just wasn't in place. And now that it is, the synergies in the data sets are starting to show. Every presentation had synergy in data sets. A year ago, most of them didn't even connect to a single data set. And we all guessed that there were synergies there and now we can actually see them. It was really exciting. I learned that there are folks that can come together with all of these different disciplines. They can work together when they're given the right motivation, the right tool set, the right environment to be able to work in, to be creative. But more importantly, the models that we build here will propel all of our communities across the country. The idea that we can build this here and share it everywhere is very powerful. Next up for the attendees, I hope, is that they continue to engage on these solution sets. They can do continued community meetups to help push this ball forward, and that's going to be a big, big deal. One of the things that Full Plate is excited about is the customer learning lab, and so we're going to find out a little bit more about that. Uh, we also learned about the meetups that are going to be happening. Our uh, subject matter expert from the weekend, Mark from Mid-Ohio Food Bank, is going to be reaching out to us to see how we can kind of build on the momentum and keep it going. The individuals that are interested, we're going to invite to be in our technical working group and that technical working group is what advises the architecture of the system so they'll become even more deeply involved. Coming here today and hearing what all of these individuals are sharing and their innovations has been so inspiring. I have a lot of hope for where all of these go.